Hey guys, welcome back. We'll keep up with the achievements here. Uh, Cauldron's the one that you're going to work on next. However, there's you know you're going to need to get quite a bit. You could just make it out of wood, but realistically, you're going to want it later. There's lava and things involved, so you're going to want it to lead to cobblestone. That's what I would recommend doing is a cobblestone cauldron. So you're going to need to you know be going about that. While you're at it, though, you're going to be farming these other trees too. So what I would recommend doing on that, okay, is get yourself enough clay. Okay, you need 25 clay. What you want to do is just take the clay, throw it in your furnace. It's going to become a brick. Okay. Take your take your bricks. Get 25 of those. Okay. Once you get 25 bricks, you can then take the bricks basically. Much easier ways of doing this. <laughs> Those will become bonsai pots, okay? With the bonsai pots, what you can do is you take a bonsai pot, you decide to put it down in an area, okay? Take yourself a piece of dirt, put it into the pot, and then take one of your trees. And you've got five different kinds of trees at this point, so why not do every one of them? Once you get your bonsai pot, it'll grow all the way up to 100%, okay? Go over here at that point and make yourself a Paxil. Any of these will do, okay? Doesn't really matter which one you make and all that, but the deal is make yourself a Paxil, okay? So for the, you're going to need a couple sticks, uh, probably a little more. And then you're going to make each of these things, okay? So, one next, pickaxe, shovel. And then finally, over all your Paxil. Once you get your Paxil, what you do is you walk up to your bonsai plant, right click, it'll pick it up, and you notice it starts growing again. And that also gives you the Paxil rose thing. Now that you get your bonsai trees, go ahead and farm those up for a bit. And at some point, you're going to get enough petrified resin and acorns to go ahead and make yourself the cobble that you'll need. To go ahead and make this cauldron. That's going to get you that achievement done. Okay, so moving right along the cottonwood sapling, it's a little different here. Cottonwood sapling comes from jungle sapling, vines, and bone mill. Okay, so we're just going to do a little jungle sapling on this part right here. Because the jungle sapling, what you're going to do is cauldron, which you just made. Okay, so take a clay sapling, you're going to need mud. Okay, so mud's not that big a deal except for one part, which we don't know yet, which is the water. What you're going to do is take any sapling, okay? I think it's just any sapling other than like slimes. Put 10 of them in there. Do a little hoppy hop. We get a thousand water in there. That's the bucket worth. Take a clay bucket, pick it up, put it down, then got to combine mud into it, or dirt into it, and that makes the mud, okay? Take a clay sapling, into the mud, that gives you a jungle sapling. Same thing, get yourself a, uh, a little bonsai pot, pop that sucker in there, let it grow, cut it down, get you another jungle sapling. Okay, once you get a few jungle saplings, what you're going to want to do basically is a couple things. You're going to need a jungle sapling to make the tree. You're also going to want to hang a jungle sapling, okay? Hang it from your drying rack. Once it dries, it become vines, okay? You're going to need that to make a tree. Need that, vines, and bone mill. Bone mill, once again, just take three dirt, put it in your crushing tub, three bone mill. At that point, you're set to go. There's your cottonwood sapling. Okay, so for a sand sapling, what you're going to want to do is you want to get sand or acorns, which you get those from the crushing tub again. Only this time we're using gravel acorns. So get yourself uh, those eight gravel acorns. And put them in the crushing tub here. Does not have to be empty, by the way. Once you get the eight, 
Make sure you got a petrified sapling in your inventory, and there's your sand sapling. So your next achievement is this bed. Although the bed was a little interesting, okay? Bed takes wool. To get wool, you need string. To get string, well, where are you getting string? We're getting string from cottonwood leaves, okay? So cottonwood leaves, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna hang them. I can hang them, and you'll notice the progress start, okay? Once progress finishes, what it's actually gonna do is it's gonna make string. Okay, once you have the have all the string done, you know you should have 12 string, okay? For the string come wool. We'll need three wool, three oak, and that'll get your bed. So that'll complete both the cottonwood one, and then once you've slept on the bed. It'll do nap time. Okay, for 10 sapling, or 10 amber, I should say, okay? 10 amber, uh, you need four bone, uh, two clay, two gravel, and a flint. Flint, you should have gotten uh, basically along when you were doing the uh, gravel tree. However, let's say you didn't, make yourself three pieces of gravel, and you'll get a flint. Or you can realistically just put, pick up and put the gravel down repeatedly, and you'll get a piece of flint that way, too. So there's multiple ways to get the flat. But either which way, once you got it, you should be able to just craft the 10 amber. And that'll get that one done. Okay, for your charcoal sapling, charcoal sapling, you're going to need a birch sapling, okay? Birch sapling you get by doing a sand sapling into water, okay? Which means from the get-go, you're going to need, again, 10 saplings of take your choice, okay? So the 10 saplings, drop it here, jump on them. Again, you need a thousand water. There you go, get your thousand water, pick it up, put it in your cauldron, take your sand sapling, your dunk, there's your birch sapling. Once you have your birch sapling, then what you want to do basically is take that sapling and you're going to burn it. Once it gets all toasty, there's your coal sapling, and that gets your achievement. For a piece of coal down here, uh, just get the uh, five resin four coal acorns and go craft it. Simple as that one. And that gets that achievement, which leaves our tin one as the last one here. Okay, for our tin sapling, it's a little different in the aspects of the way this one works because to obtain the tin, tin sapling, okay, we are going to need a casting table. Park Tinker's contract, this is going to be a spell trick, okay? To which case we need molten tin. Molten tin is what we're going to use this tin amber for to get, okay? But we got to belt it down. To do that, we have to make either a melter or a smell tree or something like that. Now, you can do two different types of melters here, okay? There is one that you can do from seared stone, which is what you make every other smeltery from, basically, okay? Uh, seared bricks, that kind of thing and all. So you can do a melter right here from the seared bricks, okay? But the seared bricks you need grout for, which is, at this point in the game, takes a little while, okay? Want to do that? Cool? No? For me, I've always just kind of opted to do the uh, porcelain because it's way easier compared to the other, okay? Because porcelain, we've already got everything in for it. We need six clay, six bone mill. Okay? So you go six clay, six bone mill. You come over here, and then, uh, what you do with it is you turn your brain. Oh, here you go. Porcelain. Uh, you need a unfired porcelain to do that. Okay? So unfired porcelain, if you go in here, the crafting is just bone mill clay. Okay? It makes four, so that's why you need six. Okay? So we're going to chunk all that in there. Boom. That's going to make our unfired porcelain. Next step is, of course, we need to burn it, okay? Burning is fairly straightforward, easy, and all, which it will produce the porcelain brick that you need, okay? Once we get the porcelain brick, that will let us go ahead and make the spell tree, to which case that's going to bring us to the achievements that are right here.
So we're going to jump ahead to those right at this point. Step one of this is we're going to need a melter, okay? So once we once we get done making all our porcelain, we're going to have 24 porcelain for the most part, okay? For the melter part of it, you're going to need a piece of glass. So that's going to be a piece of sand, okay? Which we need to cook that too. Then I'll get you your piece of glass. Come over here. Providing you get the porcelain in your hand, that'll be your melter. And that gets that achievement. Once you get your melter, then the rest of that doesn't apply yet. So, but we are still going to need a couple of things for it. We're going to need a heater, okay? So we're going to need a furnace. That's just eight cobble. Once you get your furnace, then you can go ahead and make your heater, okay? That'll get this getting warmer when done. Once you get that achievement done, you're almost there, but you're still not quite there to be able to pull off the uh, the uh, tin amber, okay? Because you're still going to need a casting table, and then you're going to need a faucet. Once you've got all these, you can then create your miniature smelter, or melter as they want to call it, okay? Uh, so basically, just pick yourself a spot. Heater's going to come first. The melter goes on top. Providing they are set up correctly, you'll see it begin to glow. Table. Faucet. However, you're still not there because you need to have some form of fuel. In which case, I'll just take this out of here. Move it over to here. That'll get a form of fuel. At that point, we can take our Tin amber. You'll see it cook up here in a minute. Take your birch sapling, lay it in the casting table. Once it's done, you'll notice it's got two uh, ingots in there. You only need one. Pour it on, you'll see a progress with the percentage there. Once it reaches 100%, that gets you your achievement. That's where we're going to end it for today. We will continue on with the rest of this starting tomorrow, and we'll go from there. Next video, anyways, I guess I'll say. And I uh, hope you all have enjoyed. Hopefully this has helped you. And uh, feel free to uh, like, subscribe, all that junk. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.